this is what it means in my own experience to be native, musically speaking. Um, I make sure that everybody understands. I don't, I don't write to say, this is what it is to be Indian. Or, or I'll tell you people what Indians think. You know, this is just one Indian talking. You know, and that's it. Just, this is what my life is musically. I've always had a real distinctive guitar style. It's, it's what I call a vocal style. I, I try to phrase my guitar vocally. I don't do the scalar thing that so many heavy metal musicians and a lot of guys like to do where they just blind you with the speed. And I, I don't think in those terms. I, it would be great to have that prowess, I guess, you know, of, of being able to do a million, million notes a, a second. But I, I prefer to, to um, uh, take the voc a vocal approach to the guitar. So, um, so therefore my guitar is very uh, sustained, but not not dirty, not not gritty, and, and it's always it's always uh, the, the fine art for me to get that perfect guitar tone and uh, and make make it sing just like a, just like a, a, a human voice would. You know, one, the one thing that uh, <clears throat> it's it's kind of tricky when when people ask me, you know, they say, well, they'll refer to me as a Native American musician. Uh, but what do you do with that, you know? It's, it's really, you know, people don't run around saying best African guitarist or best European guitarist or, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny term. And I'd rather look at it as I'm a mu musician that has something to say uh, musically and spiritually. And, um, and guess what? I, I'm Native American and I've, and I've got these experiences. My family live on the reservation. I come from a very, very large family. Uh, but you know, there's external factors that come into play. Uh, my, my father was the, as far as we are aware, the youngest Northern Cheyenne to be forced to go to, to boarding school. I mean, boarding school. It, they they pulled him, set him on a train when he was seven years old. And he never saw his mom and dad again until he was 12 or 13. And so when he goes, when he went down to Genoa, Nebraska, where he where boarding school was at that time, uh, you know, they, they were very much into kill the Indian and save the man. You know, and that's pretty much what they did to him. They, he would be physically punished for, for speaking any native language. Cheyennes have a culture, the Crows have a culture, the Cinnaboyans have their culture and, and different um, processes that they go through culturally. So, you know, there's just within a few blocks uh, on a reservation, there's there's major cultural differences, you know, so. So again, I just take what, what's been put in front of me and, and make songs about it. Well, I, I had heard through the grapevine that this Native American Music Association was going to start. And so I uh, <clears throat> got a hold of them on the phone and explained who I was. And I think they'd had two award shows when I, when I found out about them. And uh, this one was down in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, I decided to buy a plane ticket. <laughs> and, and went, and uh, you know, they were anxious to meet me because of my lengthy musical career, and uh, so really that's how we started it off. I had had plans of recording a native album anyway, as a matter of fact, had most of it written at that point. And then in 2002, um, the album was done. Uh, we submitted it to the NAMI Awards and they go through their voting processes. And we were, ended up being nominated for uh, Songwriter of the Year. 
torch. I thought, wow, that, this is happening fast. <laughs> Uh, were invited to perform, and that year it was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, so a big crowd, you know, big production, and uh, so we played the, I still have video of us playing, it's when I had a little longer hair. It's It's been really uh, a great life, you know, playing with all these musicians, you know, and talk about diversity, you know, I think I've had every race, creed, and co color uh, through the band. I uh, met musicians from all, all kinds of different ethnic backgrounds, you know, especially, you know, with my love of other music, Afro-Cuban music, reggae music, you know, so I met a lot of great guys. And, uh, um, the, the, I think the one that I'm probably most proud of is Wild Indian CD, a songwriter of the year. I really uh, felt great about that one, but a, a very close second was uh, the real first Cody Brothers album, um, and it is called Crazy Woman Mountain, and it does have some connotation into it, but again, it's with a stripped down three-piece sound. It's me on a big, fat, rich guitar with a lot of echo on it, and it's totally different than, than what I normally do, and uh, we took the rock album of the year. Uh, of, that was 2007. That was a, I was really surprised. And as I said, not too bad for three knotheads from Sheridan, Wyoming. You know? <laughs> I just decided to stay in Sheridan for a while you know, at, at my childhood home. So it's very quiet and peaceful there. And, uh, and <clears throat> lo and behold, I discovered a great bass player and drummer right there in, in town, which it's not very easy to do is find competent musicians in very small towns. There are very few, if, if any. And so we formed the Coyote Brothers. And uh, the problem is I want to continue with the Native American uh, material that I was writing and doing, but the material that I write requires five, six, seven, eight, nine guys and gals. You know, I, I like to have three percussionists. I mean, I'm a closet drummer, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so, you know, we have drums, we have timbales, we have congas, and then, of course, I, I, I just absolutely love the sound of Hammond B3 organ. And so, I've always been drawn to groups like Santana and War, Bob Marley, and of course, that's their instrumentation too. So, um, but I couldn't do that with just the three of us, so we did other music that I, I, enjoy, I enjoy a lot of different music. I mean, not a big country fan, but I do like rockabilly, and I do like, I love blues, and I, I love other ethnic stuff, Cajun music, um, you name it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do something to it. The new album, Hostiles and Renegades, it's a uh, a culmination of my previous um, Native American inspired album, what was called Wild Indians. I did that in 2002. And it's taking all this time to finally do another one. And uh, the, uh, some of the songs are quite old and, uh, and uh, actually were to be on the original uh, Wild Indians album, but I uh, ran out of time and money. And uh, I was running a studio in those days. And so now I have my own recording equipment so I can record until I drop. So that's been a real luxury in you know, making an album. Um, it's, it's pretty much uh, based in uh, what I call world beat music, reggae music, African music. It's got all, all the album's influences that I've had over the years. Uh, I you know, culminate that and, and then voila, I write a song about it. You know? and then, the, the spiritual part, or the, the what people probably you know, want to say the native part, is really um, just my experiences uh, on the reservation, off the reservation, uh, what, what people have said to me over the years. If, if you really listen in this world, the lyrics come to you, literally come to you, so many people tell you the lyrics, you just need to 
put them in a rhythmic and melodic fashion. So, um, you know, we, I have songs about Indian people from long ago. That's the title track, Hostiles and Renegades. That's what that's about. I've got songs on there about about Indian people living there today, and and songs about how so so few of the youth have any avenues to pursue. Uh, you know, in, in in doing something great in this world. And then I've got the song about a guy who's so out of touch with his reality and his outside world that it's 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 almost painful but yet funny too. And uh, you know, I, I live to play guitar. That's what I do in life. And uh, so I, I've written two instrumental pieces on there. And uh, how I look at instrumentals, it's it's um, pre-language, before language, before we learned to talk, before we ever had a, a real concept of a, a language at all. It, it's the, the primitive hitting a stick on a hollow log. What, what is it about that driving rhythm that gets into the human psyche? It's, so that's how I go about arranging and, and, and writing um, instrumentals. The big one this year is Artist of the Year. I've never been nominated for Artist of the Year. And uh, so I'm in the top six, I guess, so I, I should feel very good about that. And I believe, if, if I remember, I, I, two of the other nominees have had, had been in projects that won Grammy Awards. So I'm in there with some tall dogs. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see how it goes. And, and we did get... Uh, a nomination for Best World Music, which I'm very, I graciously accept that one too.